Hello everyone, welcome to Theme Wheel. It's me Sid, and in this video I'll show you how to collect users into your HubSpot mailing list using your WordPress website. Now, since you'll be collecting users from your WordPress website, you're going to need a form where users can fill out their information, and that form needs to be able to send out that information that users have filled out into your HubSpot mailing list. So I'm going to teach you how to create a form within your WordPress website, connect that form to your HubSpot mailing list, and yeah, that is how you'll connect HubSpot to your WordPress website. So let's get started with the video, but before we do, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. All right, so here we are within our computer screen. Now, before connecting our HubSpot mailing list into our WordPress site, we're going to need a few different things. Besides a WordPress website and a HubSpot account, which is quite obvious, you're going to need a few different things. One of them being within your HubSpot account, you need a static list. So this is where all the contacts are going to be stored. So to create a static list from within your HubSpot dashboard, simply go within CRM lists and you can create a new list from in here. It is a really quick process just to create a list. I'm going to name it list one, give a description if you want to. And yeah, here you can choose active list or a static list, choose a static list and you can do next. And you can simply just save the list and there we go now we have a static list called the list one within our hubspot account now after this you're also going to need a hubspot developers account hubspot developers account is going to be slightly different from your regular hubspot account this will give us all the resources that we need to connect our hubspot mailing list into our wordpress website so yes we're going to have to create this account and besides this the last thing that we're going to need is a forms plugin which can help us create a form and help us connect that form into your hubspot mailing list so to do that we're going to have to get this plugin right here Everest forms it's one of the best WordPress form builder plugins and yeah it is a free plugin but for extended features like the one that we're going to need to connect our form and their entries into our HubSpot mailing list we're gonna have to purchase one of their premium plans you can buy any one of these two premium plans right here it's going to be a standard checkout process once you go through the checkout you're going to get a mail with login credentials and then you can log into this site from here you can simply download this Everest forms pro zip file and you can get your license keys which will be used to activate the plugin from this license keys tab right here you can simply copy this as well and once you've downloaded that file from within your wordpress dashboard simply go within plugins add new plugin and here you can upload the plugin file that you just downloaded so simply choose the file select the zip file that you just downloaded open it and you can click on install now there you go the plugin has been installed i'm going to click on activate plugin and as soon as this plugin has been activated you'll see this pop-up window right here or this notification whatever you want to call it it's says that the Everest Forms Pro requires the Everest Forms plugin to be installed. It is the free plugin. It is required to use this Pro zip file. So simply click here to install and it's going to install that free plugin for you as well. You can simply activate the plugin now and we are good to go. Now, as soon as you've activated your plugin, you'll be redirected to this dashboard right here for Everest Forms. Now, after this, we need to activate our plugin with the license key that we copied from our WP Everest dashboard. So simply go here within all features and you can click on any one of these upgrade plans right here and this license activation window will pop up. Simply paste in the license key that you just copied and click on activate license. Once that is done, your license key has been activated. And now you can see all these different modules have been activated for us. Now we need to look for the HubSpot integration. Okay, so it's right here, HubSpot module, simply activate this. It's now been activated. Now you can click on this gear icon right here and you'll be redirected to your HubSpot settings with an Everest Forms. So now we're going to need to add a connection. And for this, we're going to need our HubSpot client ID. Now the rest of the things you're going to have to do it from within your HubSpot developers account. So I'll also show you how to create a HubSpot developers account account so let's go to developers.hubspot.com this is where you can create an account and you can create a hubspot developers account with the same account that you've used to create your normal generic hubspot account from within this site simply click on create a developer account once you've done that if you're logged in within hubspot.com then it's going to say it looks like you're already using hubspot and you can simply continue with the same email so i'm just going to click on continue with this user and you can start your sign up process now i'm just going to type in other here and i'm going to do next company name theme grill dev create an account and there we go our account is getting ready right so it has been created as well now we need to build an app and when we build an app it's going to give us the credentials that we need to connect our wordpress website with our hubspot mailing list so here i can simply click on create app and once i've clicked on create app it's going to take me to this apps menu right here and again i'm going to click on the create app button and here i can give my public app a name i'm going to name it tg hub why not 
and you can provide a description. And now you can simply go to this auth window right here. And now from within this auth window, if you scroll down, you'll see this menu right here called redirect URLs. And here you don't have to do much. You basically have to paste in your domain name of your website with a certain string attached to it. And it's going to look something like this. Your website com or whatever your domain name is slash wp admin slash and this string right here to connect everest forms with our mailing list so i'm going to copy this and we're going to go back i'm going to paste this here and instead of your site.com i'm just going to paste in my domain name right here which is 2.testgrill.net so i'm going to paste it right there and you also don't have to worry about it this string format i'll put it down in the description alongside this documentation as well from everest forms which shows you how to connect everest forms with hubspot crm so yeah, once you've done that from within your hubspot account simply press enter or i guess you don't have to press enter my bad but yeah, after that you'll go down here within scopes and you will add a new scope you're going to add four different scopes and those are going to be crm.lists read and write so select both these and then it's going to be crm objects contacts read and write both so yeah you need these four scopes crm lists read write and crm objects contacts read and write once you've done that simply click on update and these are going to be the scopes that you'll have you'll also have this oauth scope which is enabled by default so once you've done that you are good to go you can simply click on create app right here and once you've done that again go here within your auth tab and now you'll get your credentials to connect your hubspot account with the new form that we're going to make so from in here you can simply copy your client id first simply copy it and then go back to your wordpress dashboard from within this hubspot menu you. and if you don't know where to find this menu it's simply within everest forms settings integration and you'll find hubspot right there so yeah here you can simply paste in your client id and you can click on get access code and after this another small window will appear and from in here once the connection has been established you can simply choose an account that you want to connect now the theme Girl dev account is the account that we just created for hubspot developers do not choose this account choose your actual account where you want users to be collected so for me it's this theme Girl account right here i'm going to select Select it and I'm going to choose that account. And let me open this window in full screen. It's going to say you're connecting an unverified app. You don't need to worry about it. It says make sure you trust the developer before connecting it to your account. We are the developer ourselves. So yeah, simply click on connect app. TG Hub is the account that we created. And after this, you should get your HubSpot access code, which is right here. Simply copy that access code and you can paste it here within this menu. Simply paste your HubSpot access code where it says HubSpot access code. And now you need to paste in your HubSpot client secret, which you'll get it from your HubSpot developers auth window. So here you'll see your client secret, simply show it, copy this secret, and you can paste it back here. Now you can give your account a nickname. I'm just gonna name it TG Nick, cause why not? And I'm gonna connect to HubSpot. And there you go, a connection has been established. The connection name is TG Nick. I guess make this something that you can memorize. But yeah, for now, a connection has been established. Now, all we have to do is set up a form within our WordPress site and connect that form to our mailing list, which we have right here. It's the list one that we created at the start of this video. It's a static list. So yeah, let's connect it there. So now from within your WordPress dashboard, within Everest forms, you'll see this all forms menu right here. Simply click on it. Okay, so here you can see we have a contact form. This is a contact form given to us by default by Everest Forms. So you can either edit this form right here. And let me show you what this form looks like. It is a simple contact form name, email, subject, message. Or in this video, I'm just going to create a new one. So I'm going to click on add new and I'm going to start from scratch. So get started and I'm going to name it HubSpot Form. Click on continue. And here we have a empty form column, which we can fill it up with all these fields that you can see here towards your left. You've got many different fields that you can use. Yeah, you can simply drag and drop them in here. And I guess let's get started with our form. Now the fields that I want to have within this form is going to be first name, last name, email. That's going to be very important. So the email field, I'm going to drag it right there. Then we need a phone field, which is right here and drag it in as well. And you know what? I'm actually also going to create some custom forms. So I'll get a date field right here, which we're going to use for a birthday field where users can put in their birthday. And we're also going to use a URL field where users can paste in their LinkedIn URL. Okay. So these two are our custom fields kind of. Now also one thing that you need to keep in mind, 
is that whatever fields you decide to use within this form, depending on whether or not you want their information within your mailing list, you're going to have to check whether or not those fields can be used within your mailing list. I'm pretty sure you can create like custom fields within HubSpot, which I'm not going to show you how, you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. But if you go here within your list settings and if you click on edit columns, then you should be able to see all these different fields right here that you can use. Now the custom ones that I'm going to be using in this video will be date of birth, which I think I've already added it. Yeah, it's called date of birth. It's right there, I've already added it. And I'm also going to use LinkedIn URL. I'm going to add it, apply, and there we go. So these two are the custom fields that I'm going to add. And besides that, the first name, last name, email, phone, these are your standard fields. So yeah, now I am aware that this form does not really look appealing. But right now I'm just focused on getting users information. If you want to, you know, you can use a lot of these fields right here. You can use drop downs, you can use multiple choice, you can use checkboxes, you can use file upload, image upload. And there's so many other fields that don't just help with customization, but fields like hidden fields, custom HTML, they help you so much too with the actual functionality of the form. You also have a signature field. I mean, you know, that's pretty neat. So yeah, uh, for now, this is what our form is going to look like. Let's customize these fields first. So whenever you click on a field, you can see here that our menu switches to field options. And from within our field options, we can basically do a few things. You know, we can change its label. We can make the field required, which I'm going to make the fields required. So the first name field will be required. If I want to, I can change its label, but I'm not going to, it's fine. Last name as well, let's make it required. Email is required by default. Phone field, we're going to make this thing required as well. If we go here within date and time, I'm going to change its label to date of birth. And I'm going to make this required as well. Website slash URL, I'm going to change this to LinkedIn URL. There it is, and make this thing required as well. And I'm going to save it. So now there we go, we have our form ready. Now all that remains is to connect this form into our mailing list, which is a simple process if we go here within this integrations tab right here. We'll see HubSpot because that is the integration that we have connected. So yeah, now you can simply click on add new connection and you can give it a name. I'm going to name it HubSpot form website whatever all right just click ok so here you can see that it's already selected our account you can by the way add multiple different accounts if you want to here it has selected our list and it has selected the wrong list we need all these users to go into our list one that we created at the start of this video so yeah list one is where we want them to go and here you can basically see all the different list fields so as i said before these are the general fields email first name last name phone number besides that you've got an option here for your custom fields as well let's get started with mapping our fields with the list fields that we have here email address you can simply select and you can map it with the email form or the email field that we have within our form we have first name here map it with the first name field last name map it with your last name field as well phone number map it with phone organization name i'm going to leave it as it is now we can select custom fields here so i'm going to select date of birth which should be right here date of birth and we're going to map it to our date of birth field i can add more fields so now i'm going to select linkedin url which is right here. I'm going to select our LinkedIn URL field that we have within the form. So yeah, select that as well. So now if we save this form, we are done. We also have another feature here, by the way, called conditional logic. So here you can set a condition like, you know, you can select a field and if the field value matches X, Y, Z, then you can make it so this form will send data or will not send data. So you can make it condition based as well, which you can explore that on your own. I'm not going to show you that in this video. And if you want to, you can add multiple different connections. So suppose you've got multiple different lists and you want people from the same form within different lists, then you can do that as well. You can simply go here, you can add multiple different connections. So yeah, but for now, I'm just gonna save this form and we are good to go. So let me, I guess, preview the form. So this is what our form looks like. And also don't mind me, this is a totally new site that I just created. So yeah, that's why things look rather bland. But yeah, this is our form right here. Let's go ahead, let's slap this form on our page. And by the way, you can also use short code. You can simply copy the short code to render the form wherever you want to. But for now, we're going to go within pages and we're going to add a new page. And I'm going to name this page, excuse me, subscribe subscribe and here i can simply paste in the short code i can do that but i like to use the block pasting a form into a page so yeah i'll drag this everest form block right here that we have within our blocks menu and i'll select the form that we just created our hubspot form and i'm just going to publish this page for now 
There we go. So if I visit the site, then we should be able to see this subscribe page right here. If I click on it, then we have our form ready. So I guess let me fill it out real quick. I'll select my date of birth and I'll just submit our form. There it is. Our form has been submitted. Now, two things need to happen immediately. First of all, if we go back here within our WordPress dashboard, go within Everest Forms Entries, you can see already we have a notification here. There it is. David has just filled out the form. So yeah, we can view the form entry from in here. And you can see David, their email, date of birth, last name, phone number, and the LinkedIn URL. And now simultaneously, this form entry should also show up within our list. So if I refresh this list real quick, we should be able to see David in here. There it is, David Grant, we have him in here. We've got email, phone number, and create date, date of birth, and LinkedIn URL as well. So I guess let me preview this. There it is, the person has been subscribed within our HubSpot mailing list. So that is how you can connect your HubSpot mailing list to your WordPress site. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Take care.